Good morning and welcome to Morning Devotions with the community of St. Andrews in Glenwood, Maryland. My name is Paul and I will serve as leader today. We're recording this service so that others can access it at a time convenient for them. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you seek him with all your heart? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your soul? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your mind? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your strength? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Rejoice, people of God. Celebrate the life within you and Christ's presence in your midst. Our eyes shall be open, the presence will have new meaning, and the future will be bright with hope. Rejoice, people of God. Bow your heads before the one who is our wisdom and our strength. We place ourselves before our God, that we may be touched and cleansed by the power of God's Spirit. Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. And we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his and we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, go into his courts with praise, give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The earth is the Lord's for he made it. Come, let us adore him. This morning, I've selected a meditation, a reading from uh, Terry Hershey. You're, you want to tell me something? No. Okay. I selected it. Oh. <laughs> Sue selected this to make sure credit where credit is due. <laughs> um, so again, the, the title is Rest on Making a Difference or Reset on Making a Difference. So as I read through this, uh, <laughs> it, it may think about how, how you have made a difference and how you may make a difference in the future. <clears throat> I'm the son of a brick mason. I'm the eldest of five children which means that my summer options as a schoolboy were limited. I could be a hod carrier, mixing mort mortar called mud, hauling bricks, blocks, and, sh and stone, and tooting the needs of masons not known for their patience. Or I could be a hod carrier. <laughs> Being a hod carrier is real work. I mean, physical work dog tired at the end of the day work. And I couldn't wait to grow up and go to college and get a real job. My father's leadership style, typical of Midwestern fathers of his generation was straightforward. Don't loaf, don't whine, don't make excuses. This, this'll make you a, a man out of you. I will admit as a high school football player and wrestler, I could have couldn't have asked for a better workout regimen. Even so, college beckoned. Real work, you know, where I could make a, a real difference and become somebody. And I did. After two degrees and an ordination, I set out as the reverend. No longer just a hod carrier or just a construction worker. 
On one visit to Michigan in my late 30s, my father and I drove the streets in the small town of Sturgis, drifting in his pickup truck. We could drive for miles without saying much. Not a bad skill to learn. The truck slowed as if by volition, and I wondered if something was amiss. Then it hit me. My father slowed to regard a house that he had built decades prior. He parked by the curb and he told me stories about building the house, about the owner, about members of the crew and about pranks played on the job site. For the rest of the afternoon, we meandered the streets, looking not just at houses or chimneys, but also at the quality of the of work that has stood the test of time. These weren't just buildings, they were works of art and labors of love. And then we stopped in front of a house I recognized where I spent a summer on a crew, just a hod carrier, building someone's dream, but I hadn't seen it. And the light came, bulb came on. Now I never use the phrase just a anymore about anyone. I know this for certain. It doesn't take much to nurse resentment or regret. There are times when whatever we are doing seems not enough. No doubt a miasma of guilt or shame and the vagaries of public opinion. Over the years, I have heard I'm just a volunteer or just a member or aid, or worker, or helper, or employee, or friend, or mother, or father, or fill in the blank. To each I say, no. You see, just a creates a label and tells us what we are not. And when we label, we dismiss. So how then do we make a difference? Your work, labor, is your turf of responsibility which is only part of our DNA. Because no matter where we labor or toil, our calling is to spill the light and the good news. For this, we don't have to pass a test or qualify. We have only to be willing. Jesus made it simple. Let your light shine. Not when you get, to, not when you get your act together, not when you feel noble, not when you find a specific vocation, not after you've chased all the gloom away, just let it shine because the light is already there inside you now. My father never signed a contract. His handshake was his word, one man told me. When John Hersey, Hershey shook your hand, you knew you were going to get something you would be proud of something that would stand the test of time. What did my father build? Houses. What did my father do? He made a difference. My father died in 2020, RIP dead. It doesn't take much to cover our light with a bushel. And there's a whole lot of fear and worry and apprehension and hurry and the need for perfection that can do the job. But here's the deal, what we do and who we are touches lives, plain and simple. This matters more than ever in a divisive world, a world on the edge, a world where a kind word or a gesture makes all the difference. We need a reset on making a difference. What... Uh, how have you made a difference? Well, when I was watching my three grandchildren, I let them know that whatever they told me would be kept in confidence unless it had to do with their health or if they were in danger of something. Mm -hmm. My grandson said something to me one day and I held that and then Three years later, he's talking to his mother and he said, well, I said that to Nana. Da, 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 da. And she said, you did? And he realized I never 
you know, that was something personal he shared with me. So my, my grandchildren have always known that they can talk to me and it won't go any further. Mm -hmm. right. Who made it, who made a difference in your life? What did they, what did they do? Well, I like the phrase works of art, labors of love just mm -hmm. speaks to me, but mm -hmm. we had an unbelievable art teacher at Lisbon Elementary School who, um, she just accepted everybody's art. Like everybody's art was fantastic. She mm -hmm. lined the halls with their drawings. Didn't matter what it was because it just, I mean, and it was just great to see that she hung everybody's artwork up. So it was lovely. And she's just a beautiful spirit to this day. My aunt made a difference with me. She was my mom's younger sister. Um, we were closer in age than of course my mother and I, and she, kind of adopted me from the time I was little, um, always uh, there for me, even though we <laughs> lived a state apart. Um, whenever I saw her, it was like I was one of her kids and, it, you know, whatever everybody else did, I did. Um, never felt like I was the niece. I always felt like I was a kid. And, uh, uh, you know, a sibling. And um, when my mother died, she really, really took me in. And also mm -hmm. my children became her grandchildren. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. just, mm -hmm. she had a heart of gold and was always doing something nice for someone, making cookies, driving them to church, she just was that kind of person. Um, she would see something that she reflected that person and she would, you know, uh, a picture, a, you know, just something that, you know, a story, something that touched you. Mm -hmm. And so I have tried to really thank people and uh, send them, you know, just a note, I'm thinking of you. Um, just take that moment to, to remember people. I remember the uh, first house I designed. Mm -hmm. um, the client was a IBM executive and very demanding, <laughs> but uh, he encouraged me all the time. And uh, mm -hmm. I decided it was the right profession that I chose. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> affirmation he's, he's yeah. just passed away uh, a couple months ago oh nice memory i think of my dad who i mean i was filled with thoughts of my dad as as i read this which is i, I think what drew me in and how um he would always in a room of people we'd be at a party or a gathering and my dad would always find the person in the room that seemed the quietest and the most uncomfortable and he would go and engage them in conversation and draw them out and make them feel help them feel like they were part of the group I thought, what a what a wonderful way to be that's wonderful mm -hmm. yeah yeah i'm reminded of a teacher i worked with um mm -hmm. she's very uh christian um and, 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 but she just had such a relaxed way of looking at the world. And, and um, she said, she would say, just turn it over to the Lord, you know, just <laughs> turn it over. Um, and, and I tend to be a worry wart, you know, so it was really good for me to work with her and listen to her because it was very stressful while we were working. <laughs> <laughs> very pro kids with a lot of problems. So. Yeah, I had a thought of a man who um, uh, played a very minor role in my life. Uh, he was he was a guard at Black and Decker, where my parents worked, 
and he lived a few doors uh, down from us. Uh, and uh, when I was a young boy, probably 13 or 14, uh, he took me fishing uh, out at Lock Raven. And uh, he introduced me to fishing. Uh, my, my father was at that time working two jobs <clears throat> and my mother worked the late shift at uh, Black and Decker. So they weren't home in the evenings. And this man invited me to go fishing and uh, we, we became regular fishing partners. And, uh, uh, you know, it was, it was just one of those, I don't know how we connected that way. <laughs> or what made him uh, uh, offer to take me uh, fishing, but um, it, was, it was a real gift. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of wanting, having a passion for going into inner city teaching. Hmm. I know a lot of people when I came out of college were interested in the same thing. So I hope these people went in with such passion Made a difference. Hmm. How many times uh, have uh, have you said I'm just uh, <laughs> Carol? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she fesses up here. See why you were the perfect lead-in, Carol. <laughs> and you know what? I read that yesterday, and I thought about showing it to Robert and saying, this would be a good one for you. <laughs> really? So now you, you uh, encouraged me to get on his uh, uh, email list. And sometimes, mm. you know, they don't get me, but this one did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. His follow-up the next day was good, too. Yeah. And he builds all week on this. Mm -hmm. When he talked about a Midwestern dad, yeah. I just, yeah, my dad's attitude was pull yourself up by your bootstrap. Going to make, a, make an <laughs> you know, adult out of you. Make a man yeah. out of you. Make a man out of you. And yeah. I was the only child, so <clears throat> I kind of got some of that too. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good work ethic. As hard as it is, you learn stuff from it. You know, I don't know. I grew up on a farm. Hello. <laughs> get up, get going. There are animals to be fed. Were farmers. Stalls yeah. to mock. Not a pretty job, but yep. you know, things have exactly. to get done. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Any other thoughts? So don't be saying just uh, today. Yeah, will you? <laughs> I hope that'll stay with you. Well, I'm trying to say that Robert wasn't here. So next time I'll say, Robert's not here. Carol's here. We don't need Robert. <laughs> we needed you today, right? Right, no, like, that's yeah. right. That's right. That's right. He's in doing an uh, interview with Guardian Angel to uh, hire their next um, pantry person. Yeah. So he's, yeah. he's doing God's work. Very good. As we all try to do. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> That's one thing about a church. There are always opportunities to, to do yeah. things. Right. Oh, yes. There sure are. Okay. Um, let's go to the second one, please. Okay. You are God. We praise you. You are the Lord. We acclaim you. You are the eternal Father. All creation worships you. To all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the holy church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your <laughs> true and only son, worship of all worthy of all worship 
and the Holy Spirit advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not shun the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people. Brought, bought with the price of your own blood and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Oh, sorry. I believe in God, the Father, <laughs> almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and enter them now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy upon us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope and we shall never hope in vain. Spirit of companionship and caring, we express our heartfelt gratitude for the company of our friends and family <clears throat> through whom we experience your gift of love. Help us to burst the bonds of self-concern and to extend to all those who, with whom we come in contact the priceless riches of compassion and empathy, so that in our time, we may truly experience the heaven on earth that you have offered to us through the power of the Christ within us. Amen. Are there intercessions and thanksgivings this morning? I pray for this for each camp. I hope they're okay with the rain and the cold. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I give thanks for this group, for the community of St. Andrews, and for all those who have touched our lives. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O oh, divine master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console to be understood as to understand, to be loved 
as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.